This is Speak Lord, episode 97. I'm Ryan Rogers, and I do this podcast because I love to hear God speak through the words of the Bible, and I want to share that with you. What I want to share today is that the habit leads to the extraordinary. It's the ordinary routine that positions us for the extraordinary experience. And we love the extraordinary, the exceptional, the exciting moments in life. They make great stories. They're fun. They fill up social media. And anyone who's ever pursued God longs for more of those powerful moments. Those moments when you feel it. When great things happen. But you've probably noticed that those experiences don't happen all the time. That's what makes them extraordinary. They are not ordinary. And those experiences are meaningful and they're so worth it. But they're not always remarkable. Peter had an extraordinary experience. We read about it in Acts chapter 10. He saw a vision and that alone would be an amazing experience. He saw heaven open and he heard a voice coming from there. He was told that men were coming to him And he had a series of perfectly timed and choreographed divine appointments. So that experience alone is huge. You know that God is leading. But the results of that exceptional moment were also huge. It was big for the theology of the church and the direction of the church in the future. When Peter followed those men, he was led to the house of Cornelius, a Gentile. And he was confused and he wanted to make sure that they knew that he was only there because God sent him there. He didn't understand what was happening. But then he saw the Holy Spirit fill the Gentiles. And he learned what God was trying to teach him in that moment. That God's blessings are for everyone. God was not just the God of the Jews, but he was a God for all people. I think this had to be a high point for Peter, even Though Peter walked and talked with Christ, this is a major revelation from God. And Peter got to experience the whole thing. How do these extraordinary experiences happen? When we go back to Acts chapter 10 verse 9, we see that it was the habit that led to the extraordinary. It was the ordinary routine that positioned Peter to have this extraordinary experience. Acts chapter 10 verse 9 says, The next day, as they were on their journey and approaching the city, Peter went up on the housetop about the sixth hour to pray. God didn't tell Peter, Hey, I have an extraordinary experience for you. You just got to go up on that rooftop and pray. Peter just did that because it was his ordinary routine to talk to God. Peter didn't know if this was going to be one of those boring feel nothing times of prayer or if God was going to show up in power. It was routine and ordinary. In fact, it says that Peter was hungry and wanted something to eat. So he was probably distracted. He probably couldn't even focus very well on prayer. And while the food was being prepared, he fell into a trance. And that's when he saw the vision and he was confused. And I just wonder if Peter didn't have the habit, if he would have experienced the extraordinary. If he didn't make it part of his life to spend time with God in prayer, would he have positioned himself to experience that revelation from God and to go on that journey and see God unfold things in a way that was undeniably the work of the Holy Spirit? God would have made a way for his message to be communicated to his people, even if Peter was not part of it, if he had no habit of talking to God in prayer, But Peter would have missed out. Peter would not have experienced it. That's not what happened every time Peter went on the roof to pray. But it could only happen this time because he did. I find motivation to continue in the routine of good things in life. The prayer, the kindness, the service, the hard work. I think those things are worth it in themselves just because they're good things. But they also put me in a position to experience some extraordinary things. We don't know what small act of kindness might lead to incredible results. 
we don't know what moment in prayer might be a life-changing moment in the presence of God. How is God speaking to you today? Are there some good habits that you've been thinking you need to establish? Or maybe some good habits that are in your life and you're tempted to quit. The habit is what leads to the extraordinary. Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. You can find more of Speak, Lord by searching Palmer SDA Church wherever you get podcasts and at PastorRyanRogers.com.